Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we'll be talking about actually a, a question that was asked in my Discord server. All right, so the uh, glitch boy uh, says, by the way, I have a doubt. I get depressed when I don't get the music which I want. What should I do to keep me motivated? So usually with these type of like feelings of inadequacy or, um, you know, uh, a reaction to something or basically like a trigger or um, limiting belief, Generally, uh, how I usually get over these is basically like um, something called NET. It's uh, kind of like a technique that my friend, doctor slash mentor kind of helps you with. And pretty much any of these like type of reactional type of uh, feelings that I get, uh, like, you know, for example, like not feeling good enough for my music or just anything in general is usually just like completely fixed by this technique. Um, it's a... Uh, it's like freaking magic, honestly. Um, it's kind of like uh, uh, how it kind of works is like um, you kind of find like the uh, the pinpoint of w the first time you you know you felt that way. Uh, you know, uh, in this case, it seems like you know every time you're you, you feel like your music is inadequate, you kind of get a reaction and then get a little bit depressed and stuff. You know, uh, I think you know from what it sounds like at least I honestly have felt this way in the past quite a bit before too so i think you know i completely understand where you're coming from uh but yeah with the whole net thing like you know he he'll kind of like it's a crazy process i don't i don't exactly know like the all the ins and outs of it but it's basically like um you know you kind of find the uh the roots of you know where you kind of like picked up that belief from and then from there like he you know he does his own shit basically and like clears it up and then also like kind of helps you, you know, instill more of like objective outlook, uh, just basically in life in general. Um, and then after that, it's just freaking gone. <laughs> you know, so like that, like the NET technique has been like, like one of the biggest factors of, you know, how I've been able to overcome my own, you know, limiting beliefs and stuff like that. So uh, I, would, I would highly recommend for you to uh, tr maybe try to find a practitioner who uh, does that around your area, you know. Uh, maybe do some research on it too to see if um, you like it because I, I don't think it's going to work for everyone. Uh, it worked for me, but, you know, you're a different person, so, you know, it might not work for you. So, um, but that's definitely one thing that I've done that just has helped me, like, you know, so much, dude. But yeah, you know, in uh, terms of, like, motivation or maybe, like, practical tips that you can, like, kind of work on it, like, right now is just kind of realizing that, like, just, many, like, you know, getting good at melodies is just going to take time you know like there's some people that are fortunate like uh you know nerko for example or loki uh when i asked them for advice on like how do you like improve your melodies they just told me they just always had an ear for melodies <laughs> so i was like damn that's crazy you know but uh you know there's other people like myself where um and i'll show you later too uh, you know where i first started and where i am now uh, but, uh, you know, there's just other people that, you know, take time for them to kind of develop, you know, maybe an ear or maybe an ear for melodies and stuff like that. Like uh, Blank, for example, uh, I think I've heard on his like live stream or maybe Patreon where he was, I think he said he was like tone deaf, you know, when he first started. So, uh, but then, you know, he's been grinding it, grinding it probably for like probably 10 years plus, I think, from uh, what I remember from what I'm saying on the, you know, live stream or Patreon. Um, but, uh, you know, it took him time to first develop an ear and then now, you know, he has like, you know, catchy melodies, at least in my, uh, humble opinion. And I'm pretty sure like other fans of his and stuff too. But yeah, for me personally, it, you know, I, I've been grinding it up for like three years and it's like, finally I got to the point where I'm like, oh shit, you know, <laughs> now I'm making melodies where I'm like, okay, you know, we're, we're kind of like getting to a point where I'm making melodies that, you know, I'm, that really comes from the heart and stuff like that. So yeah, man, it's, it's just going to take some time for, um, you know, in the case where, like, you know, you just didn't have, you know, that you just weren't born with the ear like some others. But you can definitely get it, dude. You'll definitely see an example later uh, once I kind of show you, like, my um, my progress that I've made so far. But, yeah, man, in terms of, like, uh, motivation, um, you know, that some tips I can offer for that is, like, you know, it's completely okay for you to feel the way that you feel right now, you know, depressed and stuff like that those are like all valid feelings but you know if you think about it it's kind of like uh you know if you're always just kind of feeling sorry for yourself and just feeling unmotivated and feel like giving up or you know whatever you're feeling it's like you're not really going to get anywhere you know by doing that 
You know what I'm saying? But like, imagine if you put that same amount of energy into just creating music, you know? Even if it's a bad day, even if you're feeling like, you know, absolute shit or whatever, but you just put all that energy into making music. Like, just imagine, like, you know, how much further you'd get in terms of progressing in your music. So that's, like, one thing that, like, really helps me out, too, is, like, you know, it takes the same amount of effort, you know? It takes the same amount of energy to feel, you know, you know, sorry for yourself, or I can just utilize all that same energy into freaking getting better at music. And then in the long run, you know, obviously it's going to pay a lot, you know, pay off a lot more when you work on your stuff. You know, it's kind of like uh, the the example uh, that I like to give of, uh, you know, how I work seven days a week uh, on music. Uh, I've been doing music seven days a week now uh, for over a year now, um, 365, 365 days plus. Uh, it was uh, December 17th, uh, I think it was 2020. Yeah, 2020 that I decided to, you know, that, you know what, I'm just going to do seven days a week. I, I didn't know for how long. It just so happened where I was just like, you know what, I'm already this far. I might as well make it to a year, for example. So, you know, starting on December 17th, it's about, uh, it's December 31st now. Uh, so it's about, you know, be January 1st of year 2022. So over a year now of just freaking straight up music seven days a week. Um, granted that um, there was probably some days max that like I didn't technically work on music but you know I still had a coaching session with Nerco for example um, you know I was still learning you know I was working on a, a video on YouTube uh, re-watching my coaching session so that I can you know reshare what I learned on YouTube which is basically just all learning you know so um, pretty much just grinded it out this year but yeah like my mindset to you know be able to do that is basically like number one is that I love doing music which it sounds like you also do too but um, another thing in my mind is that, like, you know, I can spend the rest of my life, you know, working a nine to five job that I fucking hate. Also, nothing wrong here with nine to five jobs. You know, uh, if you need to make money, do do what you got to do. Uh, if you love your job, if you feel fulfilled, fulfilled at your job, dude, all hats off to you, you know. But I think the reality is, you know, most people don't like their jobs. You know, that's why, like, you know, 76 percent of like Americans or so. That was the last time I checked. I don't know about now. You know, it might be worse. Who knows? Right. Um, are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, that's why, you know, a lot of people complain about their jobs, how much they hate their jobs and stuff like that. You know, and you don't hear too many people that are like, dude, I fucking love my job. You know, that's it's a little unorthodox, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, but again, you know, for the most part, you know, you know, if you love your job, then, dude, all hats off to you, you know what I'm saying? It's just the reality is that most people aren't. And they're just kind of like, you know, living day by day, paycheck to paycheck, you know, living for the weekends, going out to drink on the weekends and stuff like that, waiting for that, you know, two-week vacation. Nothing wrong with breaks either, you know. I, I love taking breaks, but, you know, you don't have to spend, you know, your breaks getting wasted every freaking weekend, you know. <laughs> like, like, dude. And then, like, you know, rinsing repeat the same Monday, going back to your job that you hate and just waiting for the weekend again, you know what I'm saying? Again, like, nothing wrong, you know, with taking breaks or, you know, drinking on the weekends and stuff like that. It's, and, you know, it's just that most of these people that are, you know, kind of, like, emphasizing for you to, you know, balance your life and stuff like that, you know, um, quite frankly, you know, from what it looks like at least, I can't say for sure because I don't know how they feel, but, you know, Although they, most of the time they say that they're happy with their lives, I mean, like, but just kind of looking at their actions, if you com keep complaining about your job and then just go have to drink every weekend and just wait for your two-week vacation, like, are they really that happy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, you know, that's basically kind of like the way that I look at it. You know, it's like I can either just do that for the rest of my life um, or I can just freaking grind it up for X amount of freaking years, seven days a week, and then after X amount of years, I'm living the life of my dream. You know, like that is a no brainer for me to just go freaking hustle or, you know, grind it up so that way I can make my dreams come true. So that's like one of the you know, another like mindset thing that's been like just the, one of the driving factors of how I'm able to just, just grind it up, you know, seven days a week. Um, and of course, you know, I take breaks, you know, like, dude, take take your breaks, like, you know, get your sleep and all that stuff, you know take care of your health. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of going to Bali, taking a vacation, you know, after all this grind, you know, it's just like, you know, my point is basically, it's kind of like, you know, if you have a dream, you know, it's kind of like, you got to put in the work to make it work. You know what I'm saying? Like if you have goals and stuff and like, you know, if you're just taking life day by day, again, nothing wrong with this. If you're happy doing that, do it, you know, but 
if you have if you feel like your potential is not being used to its fullest and like you know rather than living day by day for the weekends start hustling it up on the weekends start grinding it up on the weekends and then um you know because you're not going to get anywhere if you're always staying stuck at the same place but you will get somewhere if you like you know work on your stuff <laughs> so yeah man it's put in the work and it'll definitely freaking happen and then I also want to mention that, like, you don't necessarily exactly have to do what I'm doing and just, like, you know, work your ass off seven days a week and stuff like that, you know. Different people have different approaches, you know. There's not just, like, one way to get a certain area of success, you know. So I think, like, what's really most important is it's, like, doing what works for you and then just going full, uh, you know, full force with that. But, yeah, um, you know, let me show you my uh, three years of progress from, um, you know, a track that I uh, first made and then uh, a track that I'm currently working on now that's almost done. So yeah, here's a track that I uh, like maybe first made in my first few months of uh, music production. Oh my god <laughs> the fucking stare dude uh so yeah obviously you can see that i was pretty like a uh, beginner status right there and then uh, i'll show you a track right now of uh what um i'm currently working on right now So yeah, you can basically see right there that I've made, you know, a fuck ton of progress basically. So um, yeah, uh, and that's, you know, ma matter of three years. Imagine if like I, I do another two years of freaking hardcore grind, like I'm gonna be freaking crazy, right? So, and you saw where I started. So like, if I can do that, you can freaking do that too, for sure, you know? I've, I've always been very consistent as well, you know, the first year, the second year, but like, again, the third year, I just went freaking ham, dude, um, you know? Again, starting at, on December 17th was actually the, the first day I had coaching with Miles Away. So I had, um, you know, coaching as, is something that has basically helped me dramatically, dude. Like my growth from year one, year two was like this. And then once the coaching hit, plus the seven days a week, it just went like that. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to do a, a walk through the track, I'm, def I'm definitely going to do that too. I'm just going to try submitting to a label first and see if I can get on there. If not, I'll do a, a self-release and then do a walkthrough after that. And then uh, I might even have a video of, you know, just showing my progress of, you know, where I was uh, last year when I didn't do seven days a week and then of 365 days of progress, basically. That will most likely be a, a future video. But, you know, just going back to the coaching, um, you know, I had coaching with Miles away for like four months, uh, weekly coaching. I finished my first track with him and like made my first drop officially and stuff like that. And just going through that whole experience basically is what like just really um, helped me with my foundations, basically. And just like, you know, especially like I was on like a tight deadline to finish the, the track. So like just, you know, pushing that out, even though I freaking hated the feeling of like, you know, being rushed and stuff. But like, um, you know, just being able to get to go through the experience and like just trying to get that track out on time, um, even though I wasn't able to submit it, um, I still made it before the deadline, but they were just full. But just being able to go through the experience, like I've learned, you know, so much and then on top of that, you know, I was doing like, uh, I did a few months of coaching with Kazlo, uh, a few months of coaching with Amadex, and then like six months of coaching with Nerko. Uh, and that just like, 
advance my stuff even more. Um, with Nerd goes kind of like on and off because sometimes you'd have shows uh, in some months. So some months we, I think there's like a period where we'd even have coaching for a month. Sometimes be like you know one session or two, and then sometimes it was you know the, every uh, every week. So it, it just really depended on the schedule. But yeah, just that and combined with seven days a week, like dude, my progress went like freaking nuts. But yeah, you know like some other things that I can say is like, you know, we all start somewhere, man. You know, like, um, you saw where I started. I'm still freaking improving every single day. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a, I, I mentioned this in my, uh, one of my other videos before. Um, it's like, you know, uh, I think it was the quote was like, um, yeah, I forgot the exact quote, but it was like, you know, many big things had small beginnings or something like that. Like, uh, if you look at Apple and Amazon, I think they like start in the freaking garage, but like, look where they are now, you know? So, anything is possible, man. You know, as long as you put in the work, um, you know, you're honest with yourself and stuff like that. Cause I think that's something very crucial too. I've seen people where I don't think you have this problem, but I've seen people where they've done it for like 20 years or, um, been playing the same game, for example, for like, you know, almost a decade, but they haven't improved at all. You know? So that's, that takes being honest with yourself and having like a more objective uh, outlook. And, you know, that's where great feedback comes can come from when you have the right person, you know, kind of like pointing out like what you should fix and stuff like that. But yeah, man, like, you know, freaking stay true to yourself, man. Always, you know, be genuine, be authentic, live out your truth, dude. Uh, people who think your music sounds like garbage, well, they probably think their music sounds like garbage, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know, people who see the good in themselves will see the good in you. Uh, similarly, people who don't see the good, good in themselves we'll see, you know, not the good in you. So just remember that, you know, when people judge you or, you know, uh, naysayers and stuff like that, it's more to do with them and nothing to do about you at all. A great example is kind of going back to, you know, the people that, um, how can I say that? I guess the people that have basically quit on their dreams. Um, you know, every time that I tell them I work seven days a week, they think I'm fucking nuts. You know, I'm like, bro, you need to uh, slow down, man. I'm like, bro, you need to speed the fuck up, man. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> you know? And, and again, you know, like working seven days a week, you know, it's not for everyone. I, I don't recommend it for everyone. You know, it's working for me, but it might not work for you. You know what I'm saying? So again, do what works for you. But it's like, you know, different people have different approaches. Not everyone can work a nine to five and not everyone can work seven days a week. You know, it just depends. But I think, uh, you know, for the people that think it's freaking crazy uh, to work seven days a week because, you know, it's not common, I guess, um, you know, their identity or narrative or whatever you want to call it is like kind of stuck on that idea. And every time that you go something that's not with their belief, you know, they get reactional and stuff. And, you know, it's very understandable and that that's pretty much why they do that. But, um, you know, there's this uh, another quote, too, you know, when you when you're talking about doing pe dealing with people that are like, you know, uh, naysayers and stuff like that is um, you'll never be criticized by someone doing more than you. You will only be criticized by people doing less. I don't know. I forgot who's by, but, um, you know, and criticizing, not like, you know, feedback criticizing, you know, what I'm saying, but I'm talking about like criticizing like naysayers who say that you should give up on your dreams. You should, uh, you know, just get a job and not pursue music or some shit like that. You know, <laughs> they say that because, well, for the most part, most of them have already have uh, quit on their dreams and, um, you know, are finding a way to honestly try to make themselves feel better about themselves by, uh, you know, bringing people down. It's like that crabs in a bucket mentality, man. You know, but, uh, you know, if you talk to like someone who's successful, uh, you know, in their field or like an entrepreneur, like my friend, mentor, great doctor in his field and stuff like that. When I tell him, you know, I work seven days a week, it's like, he says, good, keep it going, man. <laughs> you know, so um, uh, a big difference, you know. So again, you know, when someone judges you, it's all to do with them. Nothing with you, man. So keep doing your shit, dude. You know, you got it. Surround yourself with people that add to your flame rather than, you know, burn it out or take it out. Uh, get your sleep again. Eat healthy. Have some great habits for yourself to set yourself up for success. And understand that, you know, we, do we all deal with this, like, imposter syndrome and, you know, feelings of inadequacy and stuff like that? You know, like, everyone freaking deals with it. Um, Joe Rogan, uh, number one podcast, I think, in a in America or something like that. I don't know the statistics or whatever. And uh, also like stand-up comedian who's performed in front of like huge crowds. And I've, I'm pretty sure he's done it. You know, I don't know how many times he's done, but I'm pretty sure he's done it like a really, really a lot of good amount of times, you know, and he still deals with imposter syndrome, you know, 
and it's kind of just like you know i think it's like you know anxiety is always going to be there but uh you know the more that you kind of like work towards it uh you know overcome it and stuff like that the easier it gets to deal with you know and so yeah uh, i think that's gonna be it for this video man i uh, hope to help you out i hope to also help anyone else out that uh, is watching it who's dealing with these feeling same feelings or you know dealing with same you know type of life experiences and stuff like that uh if it did or if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up so and subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't yet hit the bell notification symbol so you know when my next video goes live I'll definitely have like production videos i think the next video will be actually uh, back to production and we'll be doing a video on like song arrangement and stuff like that the basics of uh, song arrangement in a uh, feature based track i'll probably be uh doing the arrangement of that like progressive house track slash you know feature based elements that I just showed you and then also please follow me on my social media channels I post like shorter you know production tips on there and um, you know we'll definitely post like photos of myself or whatever you want to call it so definitely that's another great way to stay connected and if you like the production tips on my YouTube here you'll definitely like the tips on my Instagram as well and then uh, also join the discord server I'm looking to uh, create a community where we can all like help each other grow uh, give each other feedback on our music and stuff like that you know and just really just all try to help each other out as we kind of go about our you know own personal journeys but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video as always i will leave all the links in the description below uh, thank you so much again for watching until next time much love peace out